my channel. Today's episode is a little bit different. I wanted you guys to spend the day with me, so here we go. Um, for breakfast, I had a vegan egg, I had two field roast sausages, a peach, and then I had a cup of coffee. I'll link everything below for you guys in case you're curious about what a vegan egg is. Then I read my daily devotional. Um, this is Hope for Each Day by Billy Graham. I've been using the same devotional for a couple of years now, so it's kind of worn out, but I really love it. Um, if you are into that type of thing, definitely check it out. Then I took a shower. After I got out of the shower, I used this body lotion and this deodorant. Um, this deodorant is aluminum free. It doesn't have baking soda in it or anything, and it's actually considered a healthy deodorant. And then I put my makeup on, which I didn't film that part. I just kind of laid all my makeup out for you guys. Um, I'm not really great at doing makeup, so I figured you didn't want to watch me. <laughs> um, but this eyebrow stuff is great. I really love it. And I was actually getting ready to go to Target, so I have real clothes on to leave in the Crocs. And then here I am at Target. I forgot to film in there, so I'm going to show you guys what I got whenever I actually get back home. And I got some cayenne pepper, I got some tomato sauce, a couple of different kinds of canned beans, um, I got some air freshener, which I didn't like by the way, I'm taking it back, almond milk, honest tea, Starbucks iced coffee, canned corn, cat food for my kitty, and bagel thins. I got some corn chips. I guess they're really veggie tortilla chips, but whatever. And then I found, oh, I got Morningstar Farms chicken strips too. Those are awesome. And then I found these. I've never had this. This is Skinny Pop, um, and it's a vegan shark cheddar flavor, and I'm excited about that. Haven't tried it yet. I turned my diffuser on, and I'm just diffusing lemon oil. I forgot to take a picture of that, um, but anyway, it's just lemon. It's nothing fancy. And there's my bell bee. And here's my little Oski boy. And then I start up laundry water so I could start laundry in a few minutes. And I got this kimono whenever I was at Target too. Um, I've seen a lot of kimonos lately on people and I'm like always jealous. <laughs> so I decided I would try to find one. And Target had him. Um, this one was like 25 bucks or $24.99. It has this little side tie thing, which is super cute. Obviously I'm liking that. And then here I go. I think it's so cute. I also picked up this tank top. Um, I don't, I like the tank top, but it's kind of like showing my bra. So I don't really love that part. And it's cut a little bit different whenever I back up. It's kind of cut a little bit higher than I like. Um, so I don't know. It's, it's in the bag to take back, but I don't know yet. Here I go doing laundry. All right. And then whenever I was doing this, I didn't know the camera was moving. <laughs> so it's like completely sliding. And obviously I don't know about it. I've never done a spend the day with me before. So this was a learning curve for me. Um, but yeah. Then I went out and watered my plants. And that wreath is from Michael's. Um, it was actually in the clearance stuff for the summer. Which is funny that they have summer stuff on clearance now. But anyway. Um, yeah, so I watered my plants. The first one was a hellbore. The second one is a hibiscus. I don't know what that middle one is, and I don't know what those last ones are, but they're flowery. And it looks so sunny and pretty, and then you turn around, and it's like, boo, it's gonna rain. And we had plans to go somewhere, but it actually didn't rain, but I thought it was going to all day long. So, oh, I went in the back and watered my lemon tree, and... It's doing really good, you guys. Um, I brought it outside maybe a month or so ago. It's doing really, really good. And then those are actually kiwi, and I don't know why I went past that so quick, but <laughs> it was kiwi and grape, and then here's some cactus and succulents. And that's either a Christmas cactus or a Thanksgiving cactus. I don't know. It's hot, so I turned the fan on. I made a tea in my little sip thermos. Laundry was done, so here I go. I don't know why I felt like I need to show you guys how much laundry I was doing. But anyway, so I'm doing laundry. Bella thinks it's time to eat, and it's funny because it's only 11, 11. So we didn't eat yet. We actually went outside on the porch and just enjoyed the day. It was pretty cool still, even though it was a little bit humid. Um, I brought my 
bandana to knit and it has moved to my fringe bag. Now I brought my book to read but I actually didn't get a chance to read all day long so it just kind of hung out with me and um, in case you guys are wondering that towel right there that's at the door is just to keep that door from slamming on the dogs. Here I go doing laundry again. Apparently I was really excited to show you guys that I was doing laundry <laughs> because I think there's still one other clip I've left in of laundry. for 4th of July. All right, so this is my food. So I got the super veggie burrito and it has grilled tofu, mushrooms, onions, peppers, and spinach. And then it's topped with lettuce, um, tomatoes, and then I got a side of guac and I got a Bud Light to drink. And then I got limes to squeeze all over my food. And it was so, so yummy. When I got home, Bella was so excited to see me. All right, so she doesn't get left alone very much. So whenever she does, she's super excited about mommy being home. Um, and she wanted to play. And if you guys want to skip this part, that's totally cool because we play for a few minutes. I left it in because it really means a lot to me. I just really, really treasure these times with her when she does want to play because she's 14 and a half years old. She doesn't always feel playful, so... Um, yeah, whenever she does, though, I I just love it. And I feel like this is one of those things I'm going to look back on and just be so thankful that I recorded it and, and just have the time, you know, I guess forever to watch it with her playing like this. And she's just a precious little puppy. So I'll try to remember to timestamp below so you guys can skip if you don't want to see it because it seriously goes on for like another minute and a half, I think. Um, but right here, she's so sweet. Whenever I stop petting her, she like paws at me to try to get me to pet her some more. I love her personality so much. She's so sweet. So then we went for a walk. Um, since she was so hyper, I decided to take advantage of that and take her, you know, just up the street and let her walk some. A lot of times she doesn't necessarily feel like going very far. So I just let her walk until she decided it was time to turn around. And so that wasn't super far. That was maybe like half a mile or so. And here I am carrying Bella home because she decided she was tired of walking. So she wants to be carried like a baby, which is absolutely the most inconvenient way to carry someone. And she's passed out beside me while I knit some more. 
Um, this time I didn't bring my book. I just brought my little brioche bandana cowl thing. And then here I am doing laundry again. You can tell by the expression on my face that this is getting old. So I'm just folding towels. Um, I pretty much have been saving all of my laundry to do on Sundays lately. Just because I feel like it's kind of a good day to do all of that and just kind of get it out of the way. Um, I used to do a little bit of laundry every single day, but now I've kind of started doing it all maybe one day. So I visited with Allie for a second. Um, she really loves the camera, but I felt bad because I actually went over to pet her and then I stopped petting her so I could film her. Um, just so you can kind of see her because I think she's so precious. She is my firstborn baby. She'll be 17 the end of this month. So yeah, she is a sweet girl and she's watching birdies out of her window seat in the loft. Ooh, I had a snack. All right, these are awesome. I got them at Whole Foods the other day. They are cashews that are herb roasted. And um, that's the ingredients in case you wanted to see. And nutritional information. Laundry one more time. <laughs> so there's nothing in that. But then I had stuff to hang up. And we went back outside and there was a baby bunny. Oh my god, you guys. This baby bunny is so precious. We have like three or four of them. And they're too little to know to be afraid. For dinner, we had leftover pizza, and honestly, I forgot to show you guys, so I just showed the box. I finished my brioche, um, little, whatever this thing is, bandana. I finished it up. I love it. I didn't know if I'd like it or not, but I do. Puppies are going to have their bedtime snack. So, here we go. Oscar's getting some. Bella already got hers. Alley Cat gets a little tiny piece of a dog cookie because she gets her treats upstairs in a few minutes. And then I had this for a bedtime snack. Um, it was just the organic brownie. I think it was the salted caramel one. And the dogs get mug water at night. So it's just really a mug with water in it. And um, basically they look forward to that every night. It's so silly, but I guess it means a lot to them. So all of them actually drink it. And then Allie, I just left this in here really because she just has the most awesome look on her face. She's waiting on me to take her to bed because she actually goes to her own bedroom and goes to bed. Um, and so she's waiting on me to start her routine. And you can tell by her face, she is not amused at these dogs taking so long to get their, you know, water and their cookies and stuff. She's just like, hurry up dogs. So yeah, <laughs> she cracks me up. Um, she was the only child for a little bit in her life because she's quite a bit older than everyone else. So I think she's never really adapted to having younger siblings. And she just kind of wants me to do what she says immediately. And there goes Bella. Allie's not amused at all. But Bella's so cute. Here we go. All right, so Allie's in her bedroom. I'm gonna give her her cookies and her medicine, make sure she has food and water, and tuck the puppies in. So the puppies sleep with me in my bed. So I usually just tuck them in, um, get them in their, take their collars off, put their jammies on them, put them you know, in the actual bed and put their blankets around them before I actually go get myself ready for bed. I don't know why the color did that. That was kind of weird. All right, so I'm gonna brush my teeth. I just use Pronamel. Um, I use the Gentle Whitening Pronamel and brush up my teeth there's. And then I take my makeup off. I really love this um, Fresh Soy Eye Makeup Remover. This takes off my MAC mascara so good and the MAC mascara is really hard to remove. I've used a few different ones, a few different um, makeup removers and nothing will actually take it off. So the only one I found is the Fresh brand and this, I think it's their soy cream cleanser that takes it off. It says it removes eye makeup and it actually does. So yeah, that's the one. All right, so now I'm gonna use my exfoliating cotton pads and some witch hazel. And this is kind of like a toner. Um, I started using this a couple 
well, maybe about a year ago, really. And it's really helped my acne. I used to have really, really bad acne. So just kind of incorporating this witch hazel into my routine on a textured cotton pad has really helped. Um, you know, it's not harsh or anything. It's completely natural and it's just a nice, gentle toner and exfoliant. And it just kind of takes the impurities off of your skin. Now I'm gonna use my Estee Lauder. I think this is called um, Supreme something, Revitalizing Supreme maybe. It's an eye cream and I actually just got this maybe a week ago or so. Um, I am not brand loyal to eye cream. I switch all the time. I've never found one that I love, so I just constantly switch and I go between you know, natural brands. And of course, this is not natural at all. This is Estee Lauder. They're totally chemically. But the reason I actually got this one is because I was reading reviews and there was a review from a woman who said she was in her 80s. And she said that she's used this particular one for a while. And it was actually showing improvements on her skin or she was she was seeing improvements on her skin as far as in the lines and things. So I thought, you know what, if this helping someone who's 80, I am totally gonna try this out. So I picked it up and I do feel like the little 11s between my eyes are kind of diminishing already. Um, now I'm using my Mad Hippie Serum and my Wake Up Beautiful. And I use about four drops of my Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. I'm showing you very slowly, I see. <laughs> And then I'm going to use a little bit of my Wake Up Beautiful from Pacifica. And then I actually just mix these together. Um, I was using a vitamin C serum from Clinique. And then I saw the Mad Hippie vitamin C serum whenever I was at Whole Foods. And I decided I would try it out because I needed a new vitamin C serum. I was almost out. And I just wanted to give this one a try. Um, this one says to put it directly on your skin and then put your moisturizer on afterwards. But the way the Clinique one worked was you mixed it with your moisturizer. So I thought I would use it that way because that was helping. Um, it just kind of changes like the texture of skin a little bit, um, in a good way. I feel like it softened my skin and helped me out. All right, now I'm showing you guys. So I get eczema. And right now it's kind of on my upper underarm area. And so the only thing that helps this is Dream Cream from Lush. I've used a lot of other products over the years and my eczema doesn't always show up, but whenever it does, if you've ever had it, it itches and it burns and it's just a nightmare. So the Dream Cream from Lush is super helpful right now. Um, like I said, I don't always have eczema, but whenever I do, it's like always in the worst possible place where it itches and hurts. So that's it. All right. So that was my bedtime routine. And obviously I put Jamie's on and lotion on my feet and hands before I go to bed, but I didn't film that part. Um, but yeah, so Bella and Oscar are in the bed. Oscar's sleeping. Bella's still going to be awake and waiting on mommy. And that was it. Thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be back next week with a regular episode. Bye, guys.